And in the thin air, it's a short kick that Trevor Etienne will bring back from the goal line. And part of that running back tandem is stopped short of the 20. That's good coverage by the Utes. They rush forward. Mertz has time, flips it in the flat, and is dropped. That was Johnson out there. They were closing in on him anyway. Play action on first down, and Barnes looking downfield, takes his shot, launches for Money Parks, who catches it in stride! What a start for Barnes on the offense! 70 yards on the opening play! That's how you build confidence for your teammates! Like I said, let's just come on out and manage the game. Cam Rising is fired <laughs> up for him. First play of the 2023 season, Utah goes over the top. Second and one, looking to throw. Mertz delivers on the field and on the run, and the catch is made. It's Marcus Burke. Mertz backpedals and now finds Johnson out of the backfield. He's got ahead of steam, making cuts. Montrell Johnson lost the ball. Looks like the Gators fell on it. Mertz slipped as he set up, and he'll be swarmed and sacked at the 25 by Jonah Ellis. Different style. Has protection, delivers a short pass. And the catch is made by Caleb Douglas. And he knocks it through. So they drive it 65 yards in six plays. And again, he's the defensive quarterback, the guy who makes the signal calls for this unit. Mertz throwing downfield, and a catch is made. That's Marcus Burke, who's making a huge impact here in the first quarter. In that first quarter, Mertz. Rolls and the naked bootleg flips it across the middle. That's Jonathan Odom, the big tight end, rumbling down into the red zone. They are really clicking now. Utes rush five. Mertz on the move, scrambling for it. Can he get there? Makes a cut, takes a hit, loses the football. It bounces out of bounds. So Florida will retain possession. Nobody accounts for the quarterback, and there's the, one of their best players on defense. Sione of a key comes up to hit him, misses him, but then that hit right there by Bishop. Under center, and they miss fire on that left side again, Four frankly. Shot. 76 on the offense. It's good from 32 earlier, this from 31. And he slides it wide right. Play any number of positions. That's how good an athlete he is. And he's got the keeper, and Johnson flashes that acceleration. But he can throw it. You keep it on the ground, and banging through the middle there is Makai Bernard. And the important second down is like the new third down, right? Because <laughs> right. if you don't succeed on that down, it's just so hard to win on third down against these situational defenses. That's a high punt. Equipment violation field on the defense. There were two number threes on the field for the Florida team. That penalty is five yards from the previous spot, results in a first down. We were told Marshall was supposed to wear 33. That is a crushing penalty. <laughs> Blitz picked up on second down. He gets the pass out. Mikey Matthews. Second and eight. Johnson keeps it. Delayed and then accelerates. All the way to the end zone. Nate Johnson. Change of pace. And it's a fast pace. And the Utahs take advantage of that penalty and pad their lead. A 27-yard sprint. Well, this is what he can do. This is what he can do. Mertz flushed. Chase and sack for the second time tonight. That was the star safety Cole Bishop who got back there. Rashad delivers a punt off the side of his foot. It is not a good one. Let's see where they spot this. Third and four, play clock at three. And Bernard takes the handoff deep behind the line of scrimmage, and he just plows forward for a first down. And third down, Barnes back pedals, flips it over the middle, and it's dropped. So this is a series of near misses. We kicked three field goals from beyond 50, and altitude there. This from 51 bangs it right through. No problem. Second and 10. Play action again, and they swarm him. They got him with a four-man rush, and that was Keanu Tanovasa. 17-3, Utah at the break. Huge spring pressure. Wurntz gets the ball away. Batted up in the air, and it's intercepted. Off the carom, the catch is made by Sione Vaki. And the Utes in great position with the first takeaway tonight.
Well, Chris, this is why the timing with a new quarterback, with a veteran receiver is so important. He gets his ball out, and he gets it out early, but Pearsall is not even ready to be able to get his hands up. Glover in motion. Barnes looks back to his left, has plenty of time. Now that's to create on the run. Can he get there? The pylon. Touchdown, Bryson Barnes. Scampers in, and each Utah quarterback has a rushing touchdown, and they cash in the pick. You're in man-to-man -man coverage, and, and again, nobody's there. I don't think they feel threatened by Barnes because he's not known for his necessarily his mobility. But I, I think there's got to be some awareness, right? You're out there in man coverage. Somebody's got to peel back. They fake it to ETN, and Mertz looking to launch downfield. Pearsall's wide open, and finally makes an impact play. The most dangerous receiver inside Utah's 40. Ertz delivers and once again finds the reliable, speedy playmaker. Play with tempo again, still looking for that first conversion. 0 for 7, and now they finally do get the conversion, but a flag. Illegal formation on the offense. More than four players in the backboard. That's Pearsall right there in motion. They pitch it back into traffic, and the Utes are all over it. Dante Zanders, the tight end, got the pass, ran into a wall of red jerseys. Johnson back at quarterback and lost the ball was going to pitch it to the edge still a scramble for it. he's very very lucky to avoid a turnover second and three they come after him ball to Johnson in the flat and he's got some space and a blocker and he bursts into Utah territory trying to cut into this lead a crucial play for the Gator offense Mertz pump fakes back pedals running out of time and they get him again and Jonah Ellis has made a huge impact. And they take over in plus territory, hand it to Money Parks on the end around. He's stopped behind the line by Marshall. 53 6. Loud as Mertz backpedals in the end zone and flips it underneath to the tight end there. And that's Odom who's made an impact and he gallops out to the 25. Big fella. And third down, Mertz across the middle. Miss fires, looking for a flag was Caleb Douglas, and now does get the flag. Pass interference on the defense, number four. Pearsall's in the backfield with Etienne, now goes in motion. They get it to him on the edge, and he gets a couple blocks and works his way into Utah territory. Mertz flips it back, and this is Trey Wilson. Hangs down for a first down inside the 35. And the clock down to four. Mertz from the pocket delivers a low throw. It's a catch. Just going down to grab it was Pearsall. If I saw that on the field, I'd call it incomplete, but replay has to do it. It's hard for the official from the side and the angle to see that. After further review, ruling on the field of a completed pass stands. Mertz lofting to the end zone. Jump ball. And Caleb Douglas catches the ball kind of a delayed reaction he kind of stood there nice grab coming back to it it was an unbelievable catch I mean he, he took that ball away from the taller Vaughn Vaughn 6-2 Douglas is at 6-4 goes up and over him and I, I really don't think Vaughn ever really located the football great job in a 50-50 ball all hands for the big man 13 point game and across the middle, catch made, conversion made by Trey Wilson. Suddenly a 13-point game. Johnson, keeper, gets the edge. Nate Johnson flashes the speed. He started the Rose Bowl as a corner and was the top tackler against Ohio State, going both ways. There's Bernard, the runner. So Barnes on third and nine. Scrambles out of the pocket. There's another flag. It's going to be another holding penalty. It was good earlier from 51, had plenty of leg. Drives this one and bangs it through from 55. Did he miss it? Did it, did it go wide? Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. I, I, was, I get excited. I was, I was excited. I get excited because it was yeah. flying long, and it, it, he did miss it. He had plenty of distance on there. Just inside of six minutes. Mertz flushed, flips it short, and the catch is made over there. Faith in the kicker, but. Not what you would expect. Not, not the kind of safe, prudent play. And now Mertz has found a little rhythm here. Mertz again searching for a target. Flips it again. Short. And flag comes out. 
holding number 76 on the offense. Still giving him a cushion. Mertz looks the other direction, throws a slant, and they do complete it for a first down. That's Caleb Douglas stacked to the left and right. Very tight formation here as Mertz sets up in the pocket. Hit as he throws over the head of Pearsall. Mertz knocked down. Sacked for the fifth time tonight. Getting after Mertz. They do bring the pressure. Pump fake. Batted in the air. He complete. Pressure off the edge by Jonah Ellis, who's got a couple of sacks and now bats down the pass to all but seal this victory.